Hi everyone, thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. I hope you get useful insights from this video. I'm Sang Kim. In this video, I would like to share how to calculate Wix Lambda and related test statistic for MANOVA in Excel and R. Let me use root stock data, which is available from H plus library in R. As you can see, the root stock variable is saved as a categorical variable, and other four variables are saved as continuous variables. In summary, we want to test whether the average of four continuous variables by root stock is statistically different. According to Wikipedia, MANOVA is a procedure for comparing multivariate sample means. There are four famous common statistics for MANOVA. In this video, I would like to focus on Wilkes Lambda. The best known approximation for Wilkes Lambda was derived by Rao. This is Rao's portrait. Rao's thesis advisor is R.A. Fisher. In our program, you can get multivariate analysis of variance output from MANOVA function in H plus library. We can get Wilkes Lambda test statistic when you specify Wilkes or W option in summary function. We also can check H matrix and E matrix from root to dot summary $WS. If you have small Wilkes Lambda, which is close to zero and lower p-value, then you can say that there are differences between group means about dependent variables. Let me show you how to get the summary statistics after calculating H and E matrix in Excel. There are two reference size I have used to understand Wix Lambda formula. As you can see, these two reference size are using different alphabets, except P and T. You can get same result whatever you use between them. In this video, let me use this formula to show you how to calculate Wix Lambda. Let's start from H matrix. Total average can be calculated by using average function average of column D for groups average we can use average if function uh, range from column C press F4 comma and criteria is group number fixed column comma and average range from column D fixed row then we can apply this formula for other cells and division which is uh, total means minus group means can be calculated by total means minus group means we can apply this formula for other cells then H matrix from division uh, we can select 4 by 4 cells and merge transpose this matrix, comma, and same matrix, and times 8, because there are 8 observations in each group, and press Ctrl Shift Enter. Right, this is uh, H matrix. And uh, to calculate, to get E matrix, uh, let's say for group uh, means, a group uh, as number 1, then we can use VLOOKUP and look up value from group means press uh, f4 to fix column comma and table array from h matrix uh, press f4 comma two comma first right so instead of using fixed number two let's use k1 here and press f4 to fix row and we can apply this formula for other cells Okay. Let's generate key value. You can apply this number for other groups. Then the key value is the combination of uh, within group number and uh, group number. Right. Then copy and paste here and, and group means press F4 right and let's get raw data by each group so you can use VLOOKUP function uh, 
local code value from here, comma, table array from column B to column G, press F4, comma, 3, uh, to select third column, comma, first. Right, uh, same. So instead of using uh, fixed number 3, let's use this value, fixed row, plus 1, and we can apply this formula for other cells. Uh, we need to fix uh, this one local value. Alright, then deviation. Yes, raw data from each group. Right, then SSCP matrix for group one. Select four by four cells and emerge transpose comma and same matrix and press control shift enter right this is sscp matrix for group one let's copy and paste here so if you change group number s2 then you can get second sscp matrix for group three For group 4, let's get group 5, finally group 6, SSCP matrix, okay, then E matrix can be, cal uh, cal can be calculated by sum of each SSCP matrix. Right. Okay, this is uh, E matrix. So let's move on to calculate Wilkes lambda. So H let's get H matrix from here. Copy and paste. And E matrix. Copy and paste here. And H plus E matrix is yes, H plus E from first element. Right. So this is H plus E matrix. So we can use this uh, lambda formula. So Wilkes lambda can be calculated by M dictum of E matrix over M dictum of H plus E matrix here. Okay, the same as this one, our output. Uh, in order to calculate F and degrees of freedom and P value, we need to uh, get this information. So P uh, value, uh, this is number of variables. There are four variables and Q is degrees of freedom. So model degrees of freedom. So it should be uh, five. So this is same as this one. Okay, and t value is square root of p squared times q squared minus 4 divided by square root of p squared plus q squared minus 5 and 1 over t, 1 over t here, and v, uh, degrees of freedom from error, uh, this one, 42. Uh, 42 can be actually is uh, 48 minus 5 minus 1. And r, this one, uh, v minus p minus q plus 1 over 2 and u this formula p times q minus 2 over 4 right then f value 1 minus lambda uh, of the power of 1 over t, this one, 
10 times r times t minus 2 times mu u over lambda lambda uh, of the power 1 over t here and times p times q okay the same as this r output and degrees of freedom uh, numerate degrees of freedom is 5 and denominator uh, degrees of freedom uh, this one look at this one so p uh, rt so uh, numerator degrees of freedom is p times q so p times q and denominator degrees of freedom is r times t minus 2 times u okay so denominator degrees of freedom is not an integer so in Excel uh, we cannot calculate uh, exact p-value uh, because of this denominator degrees of freedom so in our program if we uh, use this one 1 minus pf uh, brackets this information then we can calculate the p-value right so this is same as uh, our output okay so so that's it for uh, today uh, I hope it was useful for you to understand uh, Wilkes Lambda in MANOVA please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you thank you